Hello and welcome. I am Zinder, and this is episode 31 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And uh, I'm sure you'll see things look a little different. I've been trying my hand at making my own texture pack based off the default, which, I mean, hey, eh. the blocks are a little bit noticeable. Um, one major thing you can't really tell here on the wool or even on this because it's so black. And I'm sure you see I haven't replaced the paintings yet. That's glowstone now. Doesn't look like a textureless mass anymore. And the windows have this nifty little border, but uh, as you'll see, the blocks don't quite tile properly. Like, they're mostly fine, actually they are fine going in this direction, but these edges are a little weird. Um, but that's something I have to work on still. Uh, I might just give up and just, re like, redo the whole thing, basically. But, uh, came up with a really cheesy and cheap idea. In here, I'm sure you see I have diamond ore. I used my silk touch pick to pick up uh, diamond blocks, so that way if I get a fortune pick eventually, I'll be able to uh, duplicate them. Not duplicate, but have a chance at bonus. Um, and I made a pick. Enchanted this with an enchant of 21, and uh, I've mined well over 500 blocks so far with this pick, and it's barely even damaged. But uh, I was playing in the monster spawner for a while setting up for experience farming. Um, I added yet another level to it. I've gained a ridiculous number of discs, as I'm sure you've noticed. And I've also changed my hotkeys around a little bit. I tried to make a auto-sprint macro thingy using my keyboard. It hasn't quite turned out perfectly yet. It needs some tweaking, but... But this chest is highly unorganized. Hmm... I could give it the same treatment as that. Separate it by mob for the drops. Which I think I will do. And I should have some glowstone still. Oh yeah. Um, the There are a few things about this texture pack that I definitely don't like that I'm going to be changing. First of all, I want to try and fix that whole tiling issue. It's going to be a uh, harder than I make it sound, but, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not being all that quick about this, I'm actually trying to think about what I'm doing, there we go, you know, I should have checked to see if I had any chests, which I don't, but, uh, I have noticed this entire thing looks a little dark, so I'm probably going to try and fix that, I didn't really notice it so much on my previous tests, but it's, it's really noticeable here. Um, partly because, I'm not doing this right, partly because of the fact that the lighting in the center of this room isn't perfect, so it's always a little dark to begin with. I'm doing a horrible job of this. Okay. Yeah, I know normally I would shift click that, but I'm still getting used to my key bindings I set up. Oops. Okay. Gunpowder. Bones, strings, arrows, I guess uh, I'll just leave the bottom as more or less miscellaneous. I'm just going to put uh, the arrows and the bones in the top one. This, I know this isn't the most interesting thing you've seen, that's for sure. Uh, but, I'm trying to get this worked on. I, I really, really want to... Like, I did some more branch mining. That's where I got those diamonds. Um, I'll go show it to you, but it's nothing amazing at the moment. I'm probably going to go branch mine somewhere else. Screw it, I'm going to show you anyhow. Um, because I keep on running into the same recurring caves and whatnot, and I've done quite a few building episodes now, that was gravel. Um, here, we'll just stop. This is gravel now, I added a bit of a green hue to it, so it looks like it's got a little bit of, uh, life in it. it. Might actually be fun to build with now, because, ooh, melons. No, not because of ooh, melons. But because, uh, it, it actually looks a little decent on this texture pack, and that's one of the things I wanted to go for, everything looks kind of crap, like, cobblestone, I really don't like it. I thought about turning it into, like, 
pretty much like a brick texture, but a lot different. But pretty much this entire area over here that you see, I did all of that with this one pick. Except for this hallway, which I did with TNT. See, doesn't that look awesome? But, uh, I've actually considered trying to make an adventure map, but I have to come up with a storyline for that. I was thinking about making something related to castles, but I mean, a lot of castle-related adventure maps already exist. But then again, a lot of Let's Plays exist, and I'm still making one of those. So, I don't know. Um, if I'm a little loud, it's because Skype screws with my, uh... What was I saying? Oh, I know what I was saying. It's because Skype screws with the mic boost on my microphone, and so I might be a little loud. And if I am, sorry about that, I'll check into that. I'm trying to make sure of that for future episodes. I'm just going to share me some sheep. Why are you in here, skeleton? Don't shoot my sheep. You shot my sheep! No mercy. Not that I was going to give you any anyhow, but I let you live a little bit longer. Um. Damn it, sheep. I'm trying to shear you just for the sake of shearing you. I don't want to stay here and shear you all night. Um. Oh, come on. Oh, let me out of the door. Oh, spider. I wasn't entirely sure what was hitting me. I was kind of looking around going, what? I tried, uh. Doing Spellbound Caves, which there was some uh, audio related issues. So the thing got scrapped, but it's going to be tried again at a later date. And the original, there was just two of us doing it then. And, uh. But, like I said, the audio was pretty much terrible. So he was going to get a USB mic, so that. or not USB mic, but basically a USB sound card, so that way he wouldn't be using a second computer for the voice, because it's sound card's basically broken. Um, and, uh, hopefully by then, the third person I wanted to join us will be free. What am I doing? I guess I'm placing things in here. So, that's that. Um, oh, I remember why I came down here. I want to work on the, uh, the house castle area thing. It's going to involve some wood. I think I'm going to use some gravel, just because I like how it looks with this. I, I'm definitely, definitely going to make that change. I'm probably going to go back to the other texture pack, but I figured I would just show off to you guys what I had so far. Uh, the amount of cobble I have so far is pretty low. Because, I think I mentioned this, but I added a, another level onto the, the monster spawner. Trap thing starting to look very boxy now. But uh, we're going to journey across the countryside. And it's going to be dangerous. Not really. I think I'm definitely going to make a goal to not die as much in future episodes. I don't know why I say future. That includes this one. but uh, that, That's mostly because of the fact that Spellbound caves and those super hostile maps makes me feel like I need to be a little bit more serious. There's the uh, movie screen from the back. We're not going to complete that just yet. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, about movie screen, watch the episode previous to this one. I don't know why, but I always assume that people are just watching my Let's Play pretty much from the beginning. Um, and if... Uh, you happen upon an episode and it's bad and that's where you started at, don't just disgrace the whole series with that because sometimes I record at like 3 in the morning and they are just absolute trash but I upload them anyway because I apparently don't care. And uh, I didn't know how to edit before and I don't really have a reason to edit with this episode so far but I don't know. I feel like putting in a time lapse reduces the length of the videos to something more acceptable. Because, well, first of all, I don't have to sit here and try and think of commentary and then run back and forth like an idiot. I get a little bit more time to think. Um, but the biggest thing is, is a lot of the time wasters in my videos are 
me building stuff. Like right now, I'm filling this in with dirt. But I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with this. This whole place is probably going to need to be a little bit bigger. It's going to be kind of like a town. No castle. Um, it's got walls, obviously. I'm going to go put some... Oh, I've got to fill in a lot of area, I've just realized. So, um, I'm going to just grace you guys with... Not grace you, torture you with my hideous voice. And, uh, not time-lapse. I don't really feel like doing a lot of, uh, editing right now, mostly because of the fact that a lot of my episodes have been recorded in the morning, and, well, not a lot. The past, like, five or six or seven episodes or so have been recorded in the morning, and, uh, this one's not recorded in the morning, so I want to try and get this one out as fast as possible without spending an entire day screwing with editing to finally get the result I want. Tis the, uh, the bane of being new at using stuff like Sony Vegas. And I sure hope I have enough dirt on me. Um, I have a feeling I don't. Just saying. I'm not a calculator, so I can't tell you. I could tell you if I stopped to think about it, but I'm not a calculator. I can't just look at it and know. But, uh, enough about that. That's boring talk. Um, once again, I've been thinking about upgrading to 1.2. That's actually the reason why I started making this texture pack, is because this texture pack so far has support for 1.2, but there's a lot of stuff that I need to fix. For example, the weird lines on the tiling. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. I can technically just practically remake the entire texture pack. That seems a little unnecessary. Um, I'm thinking that I might... Oh, I'm out of dirt. My answer to it is probably just going to be I'm going to basically blur the edges of all the blocks. But I, I think that'll have an even worse result. So, I don't know. I'm not going to worry too much about that. It's just whenever the blocks are tiled with each other. I don't know. I kind of like it, though. I've always rather liked the idea of a grid, but not one that's so blatantly obvious, like if this block was just a green block with, like, a black border on it. I mean, this is Minecraft. It's a game of blocks, and this will actually help me tell blocks apart, because I do have issues with that at times. So, I'm going to leave it, I think. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but none of the blocks are really changed. I'm sure you saw that my house is still black, but there's there's a texture again. When I made the edit to the previous texture pack, there wasn't really texture left. And yes, I'm sitting here describing this while running around breaking grass. It's the most riveting experience on YouTube. Breaking grass. Um, no. What I am going to do is... What's this? This is the middle. I don't have a shovel. Hmm. I thought about making a diamond shovel. Now I'm really thinking that I should have made a diamond shovel. Um... Screw it. We got cobblestone. I got plenty of cobblestone. I probably have more than I need over here now, but... It's for the better. Oops, that's my gravel. I'm gonna keep that at the moment. I am going to... I knew what I was doing. And it involved not putting all my cobblestone in the box. I'm gonna make some shovels. And it's going to be more than enough of them. How do I have a whole stack of arrows on me? I shouldn't have had that much. Oh, probably screwed up putting stuff in chests. That doesn't look entirely center. Oh well. But, uh, once again, forgot to change my output. Oh, they are technically tiling properly. Because half of that line is on one side of it, and half the line is on the other side. It's actually kind of 
nifty looking when you're up close like this. I don't know. I rather like the definable line. Of course, so I think I said this. I'm going to stop repeating myself about that now. Um, but yeah, plans for the future. 1.2. Uh, probably going to go to that soon. Uh, probably going to wait for the next snapshot and then do that. Um, just want to make sure all the bugs are ironed out, any potential. Because I know they moved to a new format. I mentioned this in the last episode. Um, I haven't really seen anything about corruption, but I hadn't really been looking. So I'm going to assume it's kind of like a very rare issue at this moment. And I'm going to back up my world before 1.2 anyhow, and probably uh, periodically after that. You know, until it's full release and it's acceptable. I can probably just set like a daily backup on my uh, world. Since I don't edit it too much each day, I couldn't possibly lose too much progress unless it's a day like this, for example, where I'm running around like an idiot. Um, hmm. This isn't quite what I originally meant to do, but I'm going to go with it. See, I'm not a religious person. However, I am going to put a church in this town. Just because... Well, come on. Somebody's going to probably yell at me if I don't, so... Why not? Yeah, okay. No? Yes? No. I want to leave a two-wide walkway behind it. So it's going to be three blocks away from the wall. The, uh, isn't this just the most interesting experience ever? There was a cave down inside that I was going to explore this episode, but for some reason I decided that... I, I mentioned about working on the city before, and then I just never revisited it. I mean, I did the, uh, the movie screen, and then nothing. I haven't done anything here except for what I've done on screen. So... I'm changing that. And, uh, so, yeah. Um. Crap, I'm running out of things to say. I swear I should insert a time lapse. Actually, that's a good idea. I'm going to try and build a church out of this without bringing any glass over, so I will see you guys again whenever I'm, uh, done. Time lapsing this. So, uh, I'll be back with you and. Well, the commentary will be back with you in, uh, just a little bit.
Okay, and we are back. Um, ooh, perfect. Uh, I don't know if you've been able to determine what exactly I might be trying to make up on the, uh, the top of that. In that upper window. Which I need to fill in the other window, too. And... This isn't going to be enough of these, but, uh... Why not? Hmm. Uh... Actually, it might have actually ended up being too many. Hmm. Yeah. Why not? We'll do that. I should have one more stair, technically, but I don't. Pick up this gravel. Yeah, I wasn't quite finished when I decided to stop the time lapse. However,. Um, I, I didn't really care. Uh, oh, I know what it's missing. If you know what it's missing, you're going to know what I'm building. Right? I, uh, probably needs stairs on that too, but, uh, oh, I guess it kind of needs little archways all around it you know, on the bottom section of each roof, but, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna go there now. And yeah, it looks terrible. Just absolutely terrible. But you know what? I built it. So it has to be terrible. And that is my apparently infallible logic. Now... There's not going to be a whole lot of houses here. That's why I said uh, before that I was probably going to expand it afterwards. Um, there it is. I probably... Yeah, I'm only going to be able to fit like four houses in here using this method. But... I can easily expand it at any time. I mean, this could just be one district of a city. I mean, I could very easily expand this in the uh, future. But uh, as for what I was making up there, the other part of it's going to be white, and it's supposed to look like a moon. And I was originally going to, you know, kind of dedicate this to something else, but uh, as I was making it, I'm sure you saw me look up at the sky, and you'll realize the path... Let me walk out here. You might be able to... See it. Y you'll see how the uh, the path of the sun slash moon comes down right perfectly through that. So it's going to be the uh, church of the setting moon, as opposed to the rising moon, of course. But uh, shouldn't do this. This being ripping a hole in this already. But, oh well. And, there we go, I guess. It's, there's, there's probably going to be, like, I plan to put some fencing right here, so it looks more like a open gate. Yeah, it is going to be kind of castle-y, but it's not like an actual castle, it's more of like a... Outpost city, I guess. It's going to be interesting enough, I suppose. And I do plan to make like a. Oh, I forget what they're called. Uh. Now I feel retarded because I can't seem to remember. That doesn't look right. I think the, uh, the scale of this in general just is what makes it not look right. Oh, and Skype just made no Not Skype. Skype vent just made noises. So, one second. And we're back.
Um, you probably didn't hear anything. I actually probably didn't need to do that because I completely forgot that one advantage of the sound coming through my surround sound is any noises made on my primary sound card, uh, whichever one is set to the primary, is the only ones that gets recorded. So if it's coming through my surround sound, you actually won't hear anything from Vent. I had this issue with recording something from Skype before, but uh, I was going to put like a chest or something. I don't know. I guess, like, in the floor. It's really the only option. Or I could just sit it on there. And when you open it up, there will be a book. Yep. A book. It's supposed to be a church, right? They have to have some kind of uh, book story thing to worship. That just seems hideously stereotypical of churches. But... I really don't want to build these houses out of... You know, they don't even need to be built out of the same material. But I guess I'll build one out of stone. And I might as well build one out of bricks, since I have the bricks that I have uh, back at the house. They're not going to be incredibly large houses, but it'll be here. Uh, might as well make it a square. You know what? To hell with a square. I'm just going to leave it a three path behind it. So that block was actually in the right spot. What's going on here? Whoops. Keep on getting a little overzealous with my block placing, I guess. I'm probably going to need to go collect clay to make more bricks, because I don't know how many bricks I'm going to need to make the brick house, but it's probably going to be two-story. But we'll see what happens with that. And then, uh, it'll be a wooden one. And I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to build the the fifth, fifth, fourth house out of. Uh, I was thinking stone brick, actually. I actually kind of want to build all of them out of it, but I'm not going to. And it really shouldn't be a double door. But in order to change that, I would have to rip this all down and make it all match. And as for two story, I mean, it's not going to be like a full two-story, I mean, like, the second story is going to be just below the roof. Like, the roof's gonna start coming in around the corners of it. Um, since I like my place is three, this thing's gonna be almost as high as the church if I make it two-story, so, nope. Single-story house. And it's supposed to have a wooden roof. Which it's going to. Whoops. Um, I didn't want to do that, but I decided to do it anyhow. But I'm going to give it the same general roof theme, which is the whole stair roof. That's my plan. And I guess since I'm going to be building this the way I am should be able to just do this and then it'll give me the building blocks for the rest of the roof should just do that on the other side too and uh here I am not being quite so talkative but hopefully what I'm doing is interesting enough I guess the most excitement you've gotten recently is hoping I fall off of something, which is common. So, the next episode will consist of the, uh, the cave from, uh, yeah, the, the cave I found. Like, I knew it was unexplored because there was no light, so I just kind of blocked it off. Should be easy enough to get into, though. So, uh, we'll do that. In the next episode, we'll go see if I can't get myself killed. Probably try and make some tweaks to this uh, texture pack, although I rather like it. Except for the cobble. Hate cobble. Worst texture in the game. That may just be my opinion. But, uh... 
Oh well. That looks kind of shit, doesn't it? Oh well. Can't reclaim my ladders, which are annoyingly hard to remove at times. This is gonna need a real floor. Probably make the floor out of wool. Each house will probably have a different color of wool. Wonder if I have four different wool colors I can place on things. I guess I got red. Really don't want to do anything out of yellow. And then there's black. There's lime green. And... What do you want, Mr. Skeleton? There's a creeper on my wall. I missed him. Not once, but like four times. Okay. Go in here. That should be fairly lit. I want to see how dark it gets when I remove these. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Right? I don't know if that's enough light. I actually thought about getting the light level mod at one time, but then I didn't. Yep. Um, I am going to end this episode here most directly. I just want to place doors on this place. Once I get the doors on, I'll head back through all the mobs. Um, I'm probably going to build the... Hmm. Screw it. I'm probably gonna build the rail line over while, uh. What? Oh, oh, oh he's coming. Um. Off camera. And. Yeah. But, uh. We're gonna make our way out of here. Back to the house. Cause I'm gonna have to farm a lot of wool and whatnot. And, uh, get a little bit of combat on the way there. I had at least one section of excitement. Ah! Killed a chicken! Why am I having such a hard issue hitting these guys? It just seems unnecessary. Oh, can't eat my melon because I don't have it on my bar. Why am I even eating the melon? I'm above nine. I'm just going to go completely unnecessary just to give me a reason to make a diamond another diamond sword and farm a bunch of enchanting levels. Yeah, I know farming enchanting levels like that's a little boring, but I keep combat interesting by uh, not wearing armor. So, whatever. Well, he's gone. So I'm not going down there. God, skeletons ahoy. Oh, sun's coming up. Save me, sun. Could you imagine how bad this would have been if uh, my game would have been on hard mode? But it found out earlier that it was, and I had changed it before any bad things could happen. Because, well, if I was on hard, I'd pretty much have to wear armor. Because hard is, well, hard. Figure, white sheep, they're here. Might as well shear them. I need the white wool anyhow. Kill the zombie. But, uh... Harvest some black wool. Probably pick up the flowers. At least the red ones. You sheep. What are you doing? Being all black and crowded in here. Creeper! Oh! That's a dead, uh... There's a lot of pigs in here. I had heard that if you had, you know, enough of an animal in an area, they could, you know, spawn, but I mean... 
That was pretty much debunked. Why is there so many pigs in here? Wow. Don't know. That's really weird. But I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna call this episode and fix a few things with the texture pack like uh that. And uh I'll see you again in episode thirty two.